guys it is day four and what the guys are doing right now martin and Odin, what they're doing is just removing all the stains from the boat um and as you can see from what we had before in the previous there were like massive black yellow all color stains and they're getting rid of all that they have they're doing it with acid one of the mistakes that we made last year he's doing this the guy told us the guy that did the acid cleaning for us he told us that we could just paint and then do the acid afterwards when the acid fell over the paint they just stripped out the paint not completely but a lot we're Alejo and Andrea and we've been living on a sailing catamaran for the past two years We'll get a lot, a lot of this. We recently hauled out our boat to get all the work that we have been putting aside since living on the sailboat. So join us as we start putting this all back together. Hakuna Matata. It means no worries. Check out how we're getting it all white. You guys are getting it all clean. Make sure we don't have any more stains, getting rid of all those stains. Other things that is getting done at the same time is the removal of the rudder. So the port side has already been removed. Um, they did open a hole so that it would be able to drop the rudder. The other one still there, still working on the other. One. Let me show you how the stains, how it's making a difference when they remove it with acid. All the stains that we had here, um, this is going to be removed as well all these things from when we have a um, bunch of algae like growth from and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be raising the water line um, about two inches I think it is we're going to raise it a little bit more in the bow because the problem is that um, when they first manufactured the Lagoon 420s they came in a hybrid version which had like a massive electrical engine which actually like weighed a lot right so when that was removed from the back side of the Lagoon 420, like you have more weight in the bow versus the back, the stern. So when you look at our boat in the water, you can almost see it, it looks a little bit like this. And you can see the water line is not like parallel to the line here. So we are going to be racing about an inch the bow side and then leave the stern as it is. And also because as you guys can see here, the paint is not protecting you can still get a lot a lot of this in the water line and so we want to make sure that this is all taken care of we will remove it cut this a little bit and then we'll um just maybe i don't know if we're gonna raise this one a little bit or just leave it as it is check out all the dirt that is happening there so once they finish cleaning the entire boat they're going to start sanding um, it is Friday today and the goal is to get out of here by Tuesday. We have to finish. We are working on the installation of the BMS upstairs on the lithium battery. So um, we are doing that in a separate video. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and that you hit the notifications bell so you can be notified when we upload a new video. So yesterday we received the shipment from the US, all the goodies that we had ordered. Most importantly, we were waiting for the ceramic coating, which we received and we will be starting to work on the polishing. So the ceramic coating is going to take quite some time. And the reason why we wanna do it ourselves is because we want to make sure that we actually do it right. So we paid $50. $50 in, in the US. For shipping. Christmas. Ninja blender. Use the ninja blender yet, but our Nutribullet was like dead, and we had already purchased. We had purchased a brand new one in the U.S. when we were there like eight months ago, and it's already gone. So that's why we're changing brands today because Nutribullet doesn't work for us. Anymore. So Alejo ordered a bunch of parts for the boat. He ordered. We're getting our ceramic coating. It's all in here. Ceramic coating. I ordered some new sunglasses because they're gone, and my wrinkles, you know, I'm getting to my thirties, I'm getting some wrinkles. We just received the shipment. And look. Yes. So that's for the ceramic coating. This is the Christmas. Very important. So we can 
Make the boat look shiny. Nice and shiny like new. Replenish. This product, uh, usually when you have a professional do it, it's very, very expensive. It can go up to like $10,000, $12,000. The product is not, uh, it's expensive, but it's not too expensive for, for, the, for the time that it lasts. So a ceramic coat, it can last like two, three years if you take care of it. Uh, the ceramic coating is a bit on the expensive side. So if we don't do the polishing right, then we just kind of waste the product itself. This is what we received for the products of the ceramic coating. All these goodies. Uh, let me show you more stuff. All this massive bag. We will be doing the blogging of the entire process of the ceramic coating on our Lagoon 420 in another video. That is it for today. We're gonna try to get um, the sanding done and we're going to try to do the first coat of primer. We're really hoping that the weather holds up because it's all subject to the weather, man. If it rains, we can't paint. If it rains, we can't sand. If it's very humid, we can't paint. So, yep, hoping the weather helps us. By the way, guys, we were just talking about um, like how we didn't know that we had to do all this amount of work when we first bought the boat. And so many of you guys like look at, you know, YouTube channels that make it look so perfect and like so, um, I hope we're not that kind of channel because really it is far from perfect. And where you, everything's like super blue, clear, clear water, everything works, everything, you know, never, nothing ever stops working. That is like far from the reality. And honestly, something that we did not know that had to be done was all this amount of work. like every two years you have to do a shit ton of work and um what we're which is what we're doing right now and honestly you know it's we're spending a bunch of money on this considering that we're doing this ourselves so if you don't want to do this yourself you have to pay someone else to do it which you can easily triple what you would already be paying if you had to do it yourself um so yeah we just want to like kind of like put that out there that it is all not that it's not all you know perfectly crystal clear blue water and like you just standing that doesn't happen things break things stop working and every single two years not only is the paint is the work on the engines the work on like you know if you have any upgrades that you want to get done inside the boat if the polishing that has to be done like every five months or so if you don't do the polishing then you have to end up painting the entire boat all around and you gotta be open to learn new things you can't stress too much about it oh really there maybe be, you should apply what you're saying there will be a stressful <laughs> times yes he was super stressed out yesterday and today this morning so maybe you should apply what he's saying no, to I'm you guys saying, that's why i'm saying it can be very very it's stressful we're not complaining at all we're we are very grateful for the life we live but we're just trying to be as honest as we can in terms of like the good and the bad and that this is part of it and this is like yeah we're not trying to scare you guys not to buy a boat just keep in mind when you buy a boat you have to do exactly. this work this is part of buying a boat so pretty much that way you don't buy a boat and it's like oh shit i just wanted to be in the clear water yeah like this is part of it like i try to enjoy it i like doing this battery things and motor and like servicing the engines but sometimes like i said it gets stressful like uh the other day we were removing the cone clutch and like the bolts are super rusty and instead of doing it in half an hour it takes five six six hours so yeah so while we're fixing this battery situation while we're doing that we are also making lunch and since we don't have any energy man i'm glad we have our little camping stove so you know we're just camping out here on the boat with all this mess we're gonna be making some pasta just to feed ourselves and get it out of the way so yeah you're probably thinking like we rented an apartment why are we not at the apartment but we're not at the apartment because first of all <laughs> the apartment barely has plates i mean it's terrible we're really just using it for the air conditioning so guys this is dane and he will be removing the starboard rudder he already removed the port side dane you want to tell me what you're doing there right i'm taking off the bolts on the top mm -hmm. the four bolts that hold the arm okay take off the pin yeah and drop it okay yeah. and that's it yeah so you move, remove the rudder and then how do you fix it when 
I remove the rudder and then I go from underneath mm -hmm. and walk on the bearing. Oh, okay. If you if you look on this side, you can yeah. see the, the bearing is already yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, it's out. Mm, so, okay. so to get to the bearing, I have to drop the rudder. Drop it from here. Yeah. Oh, okay, interesting. It's it's really tight inside here. Yeah, it is. <laughs> this is the worst engine room ever. <laughs> but I I'm like sure you've had worse, right? Yeah. You've had worse engine rooms that you have to go in. Yes. Okay, when so this do... is not that bad. No, <laughs> but it's tight. Yeah, very tight. The mono horse, it's tight inside it. Yeah. <laughs> so you must get a lot of jobs because you're the one that knows how to do all this stuff here yeah. in the Goya, right? You're so, busy all the time. Yeah, sometimes sometime people have, like, sometimes people run into those problems and they, they think what they think about changing the bearing. Yeah. But sometimes you don't really need to change the bearing. Right. Because the bearing it's a it's a split bearing. Mm -hmm. And once the once the hole start warning a little bit, the yep. bearing will just open out to, to meet it. Oh. oh. That's the the arm that came off around the, the rudder the rudder pole. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's all the that holds the rudder together. Okay. Okay, so remove this. Yeah. And then we have a, a final pin. Yeah. To drop. Once we take off that pin. Oh, that's when it falls. Yeah. Oh. Hold up the hold up the weight. All right. Let go long. Let go long slow. <laughs> Coming down. You know? Good. So this is what opens and that way the, the, the rudder feels loose. So this has to be mounted up here and like uh, very snug so it doesn't vibrate. Alright, so while Dane works on the rudders, while Alejo works on the lithium batteries, I am going to be working on removing the starboard side. Um, the sail drive boot. After a lot of sanding, the boat is bare. It is completely naked. It does not have any paint anymore. They have stripped it all. Now they're washing it and we're gonna start painting finally. Um, we're still fi trying to find a solution to the lithium batteries, uh, the BMS installation. And we're gonna check what Alejo's up to. Looking good. It looks great. Oh, damn. So in right now, we wash up all the dust and um, tomorrow morning we will do first coat. Our, yeah, our first primer. primer. Leave it for a couple of hours, two, nice. hours, two three hours, and then blast into the next primer and then put a black on top of it and then see the final final awesome. mon Monday. Or and you guys didn't send this one? <laughs> no. No, the guy coming back from office. Come tomorrow and do this one. Oh, tomorrow you do that one? The reason why he, he couldn't do it today is because those guys were standing. Oh, so he can't do it at the same time. Yeah, yeah, too many dust. So yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We will just um, we will try, we will try it tomorrow morning. Oh, it's good. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna be putting back together the cell drive. I'm gonna sand here a little bit, so it makes a good seal. The past couple of days have been a rough couple of days. We have spent over, I don't know, maybe 24 hours just trying to fix the battery now and like installing the BMS and we still have not been able to do it. At least today, the sanding finally got done. Uh, tomorrow they will be sanding the, the stripe and we will be removing the stripe from the inner side of the boat. We will just be leaving the outside. We have no electricity on the boat, so again, we can't cook on the boat. But it gets super messy and anyway, I'm just gonna go to the apartment and like try to make something. We hope you've enjoyed watching this video. 
If you did, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you can join us next Sunday as we finish all the boat working land. See you on the next one!